What is going on, guys? We're back with another video, and we are on our Desperados Fantasy Draft Relocation Franchise. It may have taken me, taken me a couple of takes to get that intro right, which I stuttered there, which is beautiful, but we got it. This is the team. We actually have an upgrade for Josh Allen, who, uh, safe to say, probably doesn't need a throw power upgrade. They want him to do that. Can we get away with... Oh, uh, we can get... Ooh. Ooh. What do I do here? I don't want him to lose scheme fit. And he didn't, thankfully. Let's see what Field General was. Probably not worth it. But he's still going strong. Uh, we're actually off to a pretty damn good season. So let's take a look at the player of the week. And then let's take a look at Josh Allen's numbers. Uh, so Andrew Luck, a Packer uh, on their side. And then, of course, Ramsey with Mayfield and Eric Kendricks on this side. Uh, Baker Mayfield's making a pretty good case for MVP, I would assume. We have to wait for that. But that might come up sooner than later. However, Josh Allen. Oh, he's only fumbled twice. For some reason, I had this weird thought that he fumbled 10 times, which has not been the case. So Josh Allen off to a pretty damn good start on the season. Uh, we have played six games. So this could be the MVP year, hopefully. Uh, and we already have our scouting done. Do I have auto scouting on? I might have auto scouting on. I don't really care, to be honest. The Ravens, 3-3. Three and three. We had a, game, a close game against the uh, Steelers. But as you guys can see here, we have a very good roster. So it's going to be hard for most teams to compete with us at this point. So I don't think there would be any snow yet unless there's some weird government lab nearby that's just testing out what kind of chemicals they could sneak in the air. Which is very likely. But uh, I don't expect snow, basically. Uh, also, Lattimore down to probably just one upgrade coming up. And then he's done, which I honestly, like, I actually don't mind the whole upgrading system this year. But that pisses me off when I have a guy that's so good. It's like, no, he can't get better. He's got all these stats that are 99. But no, it's too late. You can't get any better than that. Kind of unfortunate. But these are the things that happen. These are the, the ways to play. It's kind of annoying. But I guess that's what we have to deal with. So the Ravens, really the only, uh, the last chance for the AFC North besides us. To uh, maybe make a, pu a push, obviously, you know, the Steelers at 3-4, and four, they could easily come back and go 12-4. and four, But being realistic here, the Ravens have got the best chance to uh, dethrone us. But they're three games back, so they really need this win. I don't remember if we played them yet. I I'll find out soon enough. Who the hell is that? What's his name? Is he supposed to be good? I... Oh, look, 44 is scared. I already scared. Leonard Fournette is on probable meth, you know? Uh, he's getting excited and pumped. He had a freaking terrible week last week. Uh, I mean, up next. We obviously know what's up next. We're in the game. Hugh Jackson, he has a career in this uh, universe. We see Winston, he has a career in this universe. Who knows for either of them in real life, though. Uh, we are most likely kicking the ball. That's kind of what we do around here. The Winston's got to go 987 yards. I know there's more than Winston. I want to be Winston. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's going to be on the quarterback. If the quarterback can't get it done, it's on the quarterback. If he can get it done, it's on the quarterback. So that's all, it's, that's all it is. Although looking, unless there's injuries, uh, not the greatest exterior talent. I do actually remember playing them. Crazy, you remember your rival. Oh, a little wham action. Oh, the cheese is real. Lattimore only gets him, but after like a 12-yard gain. Uh, but yeah, they do have some youngsters kind on the outside. Yeah, maybe maybe not as great as I thought. The One extra O. Oh. oh, I thought he had us. I thought he had us, but he did not. Three straight runs. I mean, I know Winston likes to throw picks, but Jesus, give him a shot. Let's see what we can do. All right, so Burgess. He's the rookie. I want to get Burgess going. And there he is going. Gets a nice gain of about 12, so or 14 maybe. Huh? Things are getting a little wild. EA doesn't play consistently, and that was completely planned, I promise. I, that was not an accidental first down. McCaffrey is going to get a wide open lane here, and so far we're kind of dominating them. 10th career touchdown. Who wants a 10th career touchdown? Is it Josh maybe on the ground? Is that what that was? Probably. Doing all right this season. I think he'll probably be on par to be one of those top-tier receivers. Speaking of him, 
He really doesn't get much separation. Did he hold on, though? That's the question. This determines on if I throw to him at all for the rest of the season. If he doesn't at least catch this, never getting the ball again. Well, there you go. So who's going to be taking Shark's spot, I wonder? Probably should actually run this. Shark to the outside looks kind of good. I'm going to take Shark. Why not, you know? Oh, my. Okay, so he did drop it. That was great recovery speed by their cornerback, but I actually thought he one-handed that. Not great at all. Those, those three linemen, terrible. Um, I don't know if Ture is good. He was feeling pumped. The middle linebackers are pretty good, though. And then DB's pretty solid, actually. But, hey, they've got us in a third and ten. I screamed there for no reason. Things are looking rough. Joshua. I'm just going to take the, the check down. McCaffrey brings it to the 28. We're playing against a team that isn't super great on offense. You would think a field goal would be smart. But do we maybe just go for it anyways? Story of my life, huh? Oh, this would be smart. But let's do this instead. That corner's been locking people down over there. John Ross gets a little acceleration, gets the catch for the first down. I think that's a scenario where you kind of have to go for it. I don't know. I just, in my opinion, that was a scenario where I would go for it as a coach. Bo Scarborough, maybe a quick pass to the outside. No. Who's this? Oops. It won't matter because Josh Allen doesn't care about him. So interesting. Cut back. Bo Scarborough showing some agility. Taking it down to the four. What a damn cutback. That was beautiful. Great blocking. Actually, probably the best blocks we've had all season. Ooh, may not matter, though. Burgess to the outside. Looks good. And he does. And there's a touchdown for Burgess. They showed their hand, and they didn't drop anyone off. So that was an easy play. Des Bryant with a 78-yard catch. Nice. Fifth touchdown of the season and career for Burgess. That's what I'm liking. Only six games in, technically seven. All righty. Second and in inches. Probably not a good down to play. And look at Shazier getting beat. Obviously, it's me, but uh, nope, it wasn't me. It was all an illusion. I really don't know how to use her on this team. I read the comments, I think. Did I? <laughs> I don't remember anymore what I do. And if Leonard Fournette's got one to beat. That is a bad spot for the Ravens to be in. But, hey, it's better than last drive, so they can't really be too mad about it. Burgess is a rookie, so he gets to say these things. And there's the slant. And what the hell Lattimore is doing would be called being an idiot. So there they go. Tying the game up. Good throw, technically. Chark gets about seven after getting up. Like to see uh, the potential MVP of the league having some issues. I, I stood tough in the pocket looking for Chark, but yeah, our line's not that good. Slant inside and another missed throw by Josh Allen. Seen a couple of those misses after the adjustment to the sliders, which is completely fair. I mean, it's rare to happen, but a guy with good throw power, sometimes he uh, can't get the touchdown properly. Matt Hack got the leg like a quarterback arm. I don't even know what that means. Fabian Moreau, not bad, and he misses the hit stick, but Teal recovers. We have guys open. We're just not either A, getting the time, or B, just missing the throw, which are two pretty big issues in fairness. Shazio with the stop. All right, team, we're going to come with a blitz, which we haven't in the entire game. Picked off by Lattimore, who cannot slip away. Gets to the 32-yard line, though. I'll take it. Not bad. Oh, Cooks has burned him. The play's already decided. Well, maybe not. Ooh, okay. I, I tried to high point him, but I think it made a late decision there. That was rough. Do a little wavy route with Shark as well. Run! What? Could you stop? DJ Reader gets another sack, but could, did you see Josh Allen? And a pretty good route by Cooks and a great catch. I usually don't like that dagger play because B gets wide open and then as right as you're throwing it to him, the corner recovers and then you get picked. But Cooks is just fast enough to get the job done and damn it. I saw that guy coming off the edge, but I thought I could easily get there. Maybe I'm just looking for the wrong ones. McCaffrey gets a decent draw look. And McCaffrey, I tried to cut it back in because I thought I could get the block from Chark, but he disengaged. Good run though. And there goes McCaffrey up the gut. And he actually gets stuffed at the one by George Iloka. All right. I see you. 
See you, Georgie. Are they going to give us the same exact look with Burgess? Somebody's got to drop off this time. Apparently not, and Burgess gets number two. All right. I mean, I it's twice in a row, I think. Read option, look at the goal line, and they're just going to come with the all-out blitz. So I'm going to audible. I mean, we usually stand tough, but, man, this game specifically, we have been just getting killed from the 20 to the 20. That range. And there's a pick for Shazier. Maybe we're not. And Shazier gets bumped by his own guy and stopped at the 50. Middle high-low never works, but I love to run it, apparently. Don't know why I do. I just do. Quick throw inside to... Sh oh, wow. Almost said to Shazier. Evan Ingram. And there's a face mask. We'll take it. Evan Ingram. I'm surprised he actually caught that. Usually, uh... What the? Guys, you get your helmet off. You ain't coming in anytime soon. Underneath, Evan Ingram gets a block. Good block. Good play, really. Uh, to the five. For the guy like Bo, you just never know. And he gets stuffed at the one. I keep saying stuffed. It doesn't really fit there, does it? Josh Allen wants his 50th touchdown. That can wait. It's McCaffrey time at the goal line. McCaffrey to the right. He's got a good look. Can he get in? And he can't because Chark gets bombed. I don't even know what happened to Chark, but it's going to be a field goal. The running back is unaccounted for, but it doesn't matter. Actually, it does matter. Not really. They got the first anyways. Winston with two picks, a touchdown, and a first down in the clutch. Can we actually go with a blitz here? Do I feel comfortable? Yeah, we're only bringing one extra. Why not? Come on, Davenport. And Winston's going to take off. That is very debatable that he wasn't over the line, but apparently he wasn't. All right, and they're going to hurry up. Winston doesn't care that he's cheating. Oh, Davenport. Oh, Amos, what are you doing, mate? They bring him very close to uh, equalizing it, I suppose. Davenport locked up this time. And what the hell is Amos doing? Is he on meth? He's all over the place. I don't know what the hell he's doing, but he needs to get it together. Keeps trying to pick the ball and swat it from like three yards out. And I mean, do you believe me? A I think we need to pull Amos aside and check him for a concussion. He might actually have a hole in his head. Let's go, Chris Jones. Big push up the middle. Come on, Chris. Damn it, I missed with Chris. Uh oh. And they catch it. Tio cannot strip it away. Good adjustment by Winston. Makes the throw, and they're only down by three. Good throw, kind of. Not really, actually. It's pretty terrible. I'm afraid, okay? That could be the difference between points. We'll see. Quick throw inside. Evan gets popped and drops it as well. That one makes a little bit more sense, but that still sucks. Another drop. You just never know what happens. Here comes a screen. He is pretty damn open. He accelerates to the outside. Go! I'm calling a timeout because I don't know what's going to happen with the game. And Jesus, McCaffrey barely looking at the ball there. Oh, my God. Barely looked at the clock. Barely have enough time to kick this field goal. Barely is the word of the day. So, obviously, I mean, did you think we were going to miss the kick? Better not have. Uh, so, of course, we're up by six with ball at half. McCaffrey takes it a hell of a lot more than I thought he was going to take it. Five-yard gain. China special. Never been there, so I don't know what to expect. Looks pretty good, though. Inside, Chark holds on. Surprisingly. Taking the rookie outside. That's a great throw. Great throw. Great catch. Maybe get the not fullback. Try to stay in. Could not. Cooks, 20-yard gain. Pretty good uh, drive. Little play action. I don't know why they would expect us to run the ball. I never do. Play action works. That's a pretty good throw, and he's not going to get the feet down. Ooh, I can't. Inside, Burgess, the rookie. Why did I spin? I tried to spin out of the way of a hit stick, but it was, I mean, I, uh, I hate that. That was a touchdown. That was score number three for the rookie today. That would have probably been player of the week. Instead, McCaffrey's going to get a lead block from Richard for the score. Or just not, and McCaffrey just walks in anyways. There's not any, like, trick plays. Like, I want to, like, pull a Chicago near the goal line. I think it'd be fun as hell. So we're going to go with another pitch. Chark goes in motion. They aren't believing in it. I had to cut inside. We get stuffed. So we're only up by 12 instead of 14. Still a lot of time in the game. Didn't really even think there was that much, to be fair. But 
Yeah, it definitely is. Oh, what the hell? Um, okay, Lattimore has got burnt. And we make the tackle at least. I don't know what they just did to Davenport, but clearly that's illegal. Like, I don't know what. Like, just not even in a football sense. Just like a, you're walking home late at night and somebody tries to fondle you sense. Like, what is that? That is... That is something you would see in, like, the slums of Europe. Sorry if you're European. We've got our crime, too. Don't worry about it. Let me know if you are European. And don't lie. I know who you are. I know exactly where you live. Run the ball again. Make it even easier on us. And that will be picked off by Malik Hooker. Gets tackled right out the gate. But, I mean, I guess that's an, you know just a slightly off punt. Little quick throw, and McCaffrey has got moves. And I am spinning way too much. Can't do it. Chark gets the catch and accelerates for a good eight. This is going to be an all-out. Oh, maybe not. McCaffrey's open. The throw's a little off. Look at the moves. McCaffrey is so dangerous, and I love throwing to him. John Ross could get a little sneaker. Don't know what that means. John Ross drops the ball. Not an easy catch, unfortunate. I'm just going to take Chark, who has no chance at that ball. McCordy, you see McCordy uh, doing pretty damn well on Chark over there. Chris Jones on the inside, and there's some good pressure from Davenport, finally. But if they can convert this, they have a decent chance to make the comeback. But obviously, the conversion needs to be made. Running a little bit more man coverage this week. I mean, it's, it's worked all right. They just don't want to pass the ball and... Chase you with an effort, but Lattimore ultimately the guy that knocks it out, and this will be a punt. Let's run the play that he got a touchdown on, which was actually really good. I mean, we didn't even get the blockers out there, which is probably not a good sign for this, but. Man, this is a really good run. Oh, look at McCaffrey getting 11 instead of not 11. I mean, at least our defense is showing a little, or our defense, our offense is a little bit successful on the ground. This is not going to be good unless I cut this back in. Oh, I should have believed. Oh, McCaffrey. Oh, Jesus. There goes Casper. Zach Brown's hurt. Should have went to right or left bumper, whatever bumper it is. Great play by Evan Ingram, though, so maybe not. Having a pretty solid game, making the reads. All right, so Chark looks pretty pretty good. Maybe not. McElroy. Oh, is that Chark? It is Chark, and he holds on to the seven, the vision. Of the, I have the vision of, like, a, a sniper. Evan Ingram's got this, like I said. And McCaffrey scores his, I believe, second of the game. Works out for me. Good job, McCaffrey. Davenport getting a little bit of pressure. Shazier murders him. I, I honestly, I think it's the, the linebackers are too good. The only real mistake we've got going on for us right now is Amos. I'm sorry, Amos. You're not a mistake, but you know what I mean. You're the only one making mistakes. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize, Mr. Amos. There was no need for me to be... Okay, well, I said what I said after that dance. You know, I meant it all. You know, I always say that even though you're getting destroyed, you can always get a little dignity. Always a little bit. Unless you get picked off again, then it's all out the window. It's over. There's just a problem with decision making, and I'm not even the guy really making the picks. I think I had maybe one. Oh, that's a good decision. Not a good decision by Leonard. Okay, I don't know. That's not a late hit. Not a good decision by Leonard to go out of bounds with it, though. Must say that. Chris Jones stuck on the line to the outside, and Goddard, or Goddard, I don't know what his damn name is. Goddard sounds way better, but... As uh, with every name, when it sounds better, it's never the case. No, I forgot about McIntosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Forgot about a good old macaroni and cheese and Tosh. Come on. There you go, macaroni. Come on, McIntosh. Finish this drive out with a three-peat. Oh, my Lord. The other big fella, though, with with the theft from Melifon, which I don't even mind because he's actually off to a pretty good sack total this season as well. And they're going to cheese it for some few of their points. Tremaine Edmonds has a lot of picks on the season. Probably has the talent to recover this, right? 
I don't know why you kick a field goal there if you're going to kick an onside kick. Easy recovery by Fabian Moreau. Puts us in good scoring position yet again. I just don't think that's the move. Oh, look at this. Oh, McCaffrey. Patrick Richard, I despise you. Here we go. McCaffrey too slippery is short. I swear, Patrick Richard, the next game we play, he better put some blocks on. Uh-oh, John Ross, he scored. It's over. He scored. Look at Jonathan. Look at Jonathan. Oh, close your eyes. John Ross just got murdered. Davenport and boy had Edmonds gotten burned. Edmonds even gets tackle broken. To the outside, I get beat with Shazier. What they need and what they get are two different things. And there's the fumble off the edge by Amos. And a terrible angle by them. Recovered by Harold Landry, which pretty much ends the game. So that's the score, 40 to 17. It looked pretty good. They had a, you know plenty of time in the fourth quarter. They had a great chance, and they just they choked it away. We usually finish pretty well, and that continues here. Josh Allen, you know, a couple of incompletions, you know, a little bit too many incompletions. Probably maybe hit 57% completion percentage on the game. Uh, but I will say we did have a pretty solid, you know, no turnover game. Obviously, we did turn it over once, but for the most part, we kept the ball on our side. You look at the yardage comparison and the yards per play, that's a big difference. They turn the ball over way too much. They give up scores on offense, even. We get, you know, we get touchdowns while we're playing defense. It's kind of things you can't let happen if you want to win games. Uh, actually, 64% completion, which is not bad at all. 108.9 rating, uh, missed 12 throws. Two touchdowns, zero picks. Winston a little bit worse than that. Ross had 19 yards on one carry, but he did fumble. Uh, Fournette was terrible. McCaffrey did pretty well. He would have had 100 if it wasn't for a damn fullback. Receiving the rookie DeAndre Burgess. Didn't really have a great game, but two touchdowns is fine by me. McCaffrey definitely had a solid game. Just played really well. Made people miss. He's a very fun player to have. Uh, easily my favorite player across all three franchises. Uh, at first, not really, but... Last couple of games, he's been making moves, and I don't know, he's just fun to know that, hey, you throw the ball to him, there's a good chance he's going to make that first guy miss, and you can't have enough guys like that on a team. Unfortunately, you only have really one or two of them. Definitely not at the receiving position, which is ironic, because John Ross is that second guy for us as a running back. Boy, that was actually some really good upgrading for a guard. Holy crap. Uh, and, of course, I, I can't guarantee that I won't sim. But if you have a suggestion for a player, maybe, or a position that we should upgrade, I don't think there's personally anything we could do at this point. I think this is just what we're going to deal with. I like Chark. I like Burgess. Of course, I like Cooks. Uh, if there was really even a position to upgrade, I don't really see it at this point. I don't know if you guys do, which is really going to make it interesting for the draft. I'll tell you what. But, yeah, let me know. I probably will just play on because, once again, I don't see it. I don't know what the hell we could possibly want. There's really not much. I mean, we're already a top-tier team, so we'll see. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. Hopefully, you guys, uh, you know, tweet me at Jerome P. Care <laughs> on Twitter. Obviously, that's what tweet means, dummy. Uh, and I'm talking to myself. I'm stupid. But anyways, until next video, see